Here are 10 free tools that you can use to make better content and grow your YouTube channel faster. Tool number one is thumbsup.tv. When you go to this website, you can add your thumbnail image and then type out your title. And then when you scroll down the page, you're gonna see what your video looks like across devices and across different places. So you'll see, here's what it's gonna look like on the home page, both large and small. This is what it's gonna look like on the sidebar. And where this is useful is it's gonna let you know is my thumbnail really readable if my thumbnail is smaller? And also, is the text gonna get cut off? For example, if the home's small here, we can see 10 years on YouTube, here's everything I, we don't see the rest of that. So that really tells us, do we have everything we need in our title in those first few words, or do we need to maybe change our title and make it shorter? You'll also see what your video is gonna look like on mobile as well as on TV. Super handy tool to put your thumbnails and titles through. Tool number two is vocalremover.org. And this tool is awesome because you can actually remove music from your videos. So if you're recording somewhere and maybe like copyrighted music's playing in the background, you can actually remove that from your audio completely free. So all you gotta do is upload your video or audio file and there is a limit on the size. So if you can try to just get your audio file without the video attached because that's going to take up a lot of space. Now I have a quick 15 second video so I'm just uploading the video with the audio and it's currently uploading. All right so it just finished up let me show you the original audio and then I'll show you with the music scrolled all the way down here. Here's me talking while there is music playing that could be copyrighted. And now with the music all the way down to zero. Here's me talking while there is music playing that could be copyrighted. Completely removed. Now the third tool, which is a must to have on this list is Canva, which is a free graphic design software that you can use to make YouTube thumbnails. Now there is a paid version, but the free version, you can actually do most things and actually be able to get some really great results. And I actually have a free thumbnail pack that comes with some free thumbnail templates and backgrounds that you can actually download on my website. It's on colinmichael.com slash YouTube starter kit. And with those templates, you can actually just delete me out, add yourself in, adjust a text, and you are set. Or if you want to make something from scratch and just use the backgrounds, that works too. And if you want to get into more advanced thumbnail creation, I highly recommend checking out the free software, Photop. You can go to photop.com and it's an in-browser software. It's essentially Photoshop. It has all of the different tools that Photoshop offers, but for completely free and with some ads that'll be displayed to you. Now it does have a bit of a learning curve because it's literally Photoshop, but if you can get through that learning curve, it's super powerful. It's gonna allow you to really customize your thumbnail and do some pretty amazing things. The next tool on our list is pexels.com. You can either go to the website or there is the Pexels app, which is available and this gives you access to free stock videos and stock photos. And the way you can use this is while you're doing like a talking head video, you can actually display clips on screen from this site. So maybe I'm talking about making videos. I can easily put a stock video over the top of my talking head video and show that clip on screen just to break up the, the talking head video and make it a little bit more interesting. And yeah, definitely explore the site, download some of those videos, add them to your projects, super handy tool. Up next, we have the Adobe Free Image Background Remover. You can just Google search this on Google. It'll pop right up. And if you click into this, you can actually just drag and drop your photo in. It's gonna remove the background for free, which is really handy for making thumbnails. There are paid ways to do this, like getting the pro version of Canva or getting Photoshop, but I found this to be a really great way, a little workaround if you do want to remove the background, but you don't want to pay for something. This is a great free tool. Moving on, the next tool is Creator Mix. And this is free background music that you can use in your YouTube videos and streaming and on other platforms. Now this site, if I'm not mistaken, is run by both the Nimmin brothers, D Nimmin and Nick Nimmin, who are also YouTubers. And they wanted to create a free way where people can get background music for their videos. And all you really have to do is select a song. You will have to create an account as well. But then you just click this little copyrighted logo by any on you download and you just got to copy and paste uh, the attribution into your YouTube description and then you'll be able to use that song inside your video and always just double check where you can use it and where you can't 
you know, make sure you're following those guidelines. But yeah, this is a great resource if you are looking for some background music that's gonna be safe to use, that's not gonna get you a copyright claim. The next tool, I'm gonna mention the free extension of vidIQ. Yes, there is the paid version of vidIQ, but I actually like using the free extension a lot when I'm doing research for my videos. And I'll actually just briefly show you how I like to use this extension. So what I like to do is take my idea and search it in the search bar to see if it's actually worth covering. So let's say how to edit videos in iMovie is maybe my idea. So I'll search this. And then what I like to do is look at these top videos and see how many views they got compared to how many subscribers they have. Because if a video gets more views than the channel has subscribers, it's clearly outgrown its active audience space and is being shown to more people either on the homepage or popping up more in the search results. And where the vidIQ extension comes in is it'll actually show me the subscribers in this search page where I don't actually have to click on the channel or click on the video to see how many subscribers they have. So I can quickly browse through this and see, hey, is this an idea worth covering and be able to figure that out. So I can see here, this video has 421,000 views in five years. The channel only has 463,000 subs and probably five years ago, they didn't have 463,000 subs. So this is clearly a video that helped grow his channel. He probably got more views here than he had subscribers five years ago. So this definitely blew up. And also what vidIQ will show you is the outlier score. So it tells me this video did 38 times better than what he normally gets. If I scroll down, I'll see the exact same thing. 266,000 views, he only has 348,000 subs, but a year ago, he probably had less subscribers than that. And with the outlier score, this video did 100 times better than what he normally gets for views. So this really blew up. It outgrew his active subscriber audience base. So this is all giving signs that this is worth covering. But what I can also do is I can click on a video and on the side, vidIQ actually displays how many views he got throughout the year. So I can see back when the video was published. So when he first started this video, like 11, like a few months in, he only had 8,000 views, but I can see over time throughout the years, the views just kept growing and growing and growing. And then there was actually a spike here where it really started increasing 1224. He had 288,000 views. And then by the end of the year, he was up like 100,000 views on this video. And then it's continuing to grow from there. Like it's really increasing. So this also tells me that there is active interest around this. Every single month he is bringing in views. And this video is just gonna keep growing. So if I make a video on this, I could expect to get similar results as long as my video is competitive and you know clickable. And as you can see, I can get a lot of data about whether I wanna make a video on this or not just by using this free extension of vidIQ. I will have a link to it in the description along with all the other tools. Uh, it is an affiliate link, but it's also a free tool. So I only get paid if you ever upgrade. And I'm telling you, you don't even need to upgrade if you just get the free version here, it's gonna do you plenty good. The next tool is Google Gemini. And I know there's a lot of AI hype and debate about AI and, you know, it's not necessarily at this place where it's overtaking everything, but there are a few uses with using like an AI tool like Google Gemini that can be really helpful for growing your YouTube channel. So for example, one thing I like to do is I like to take my title idea and I'll ask Google Gemini to come up with more variations of this title. And so what that can do is give me some variations uh, some different words I might be able to put in my title that'll make it more interesting. I also like to use Google Gemini for generating AI photos. So these can be hyper-realistic. They could be related to your video. These can also be used in your thumbnails. And I find Google Gemini does a really good job of making photos and you can actually start generating photos for free even if you don't have a paid account. And so for both of those reasons, I do think it is worth using and having it part of your toolkit. And tool number 10 that I wanna add to this list is Riverside, which actually allows you to live stream to YouTube for free with some pretty cool features, as well as be able to record uh, interviews or podcasts. On the live streaming side, it connects directly to YouTube and you can actually add different graphics. You can pull the comments up on screen for like replying to people in your live streams. It's really nice. And the only downside really is there is a Riverside logo that'll be up in the corner because you are on a free account and it'll also be in 720p, the, the live stream. But when you think about it, if you're just getting started with live 
live streaming, you probably don't have these crazy upload speeds. So 720p is totally acceptable for live streaming and having a watermark during a live stream isn't the, the biggest deal ever. So I do think it's worth it, especially if you're getting started live streaming and you just wanna do a few, I think it's great for that. You can always pay to, to remove those things or get higher quality live streams. And right now with the free plan, you do get two hours of separate video and audio tracks. So if you do wanna record an interview with someone, you can, they can connect you right inside the, the Riverside account and they'll actually record from their camera and from your camera. So it's not just recording the, 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 the connection between you guys, like it's not like a Zoom call recording. It's literally recording from both cameras as if you're like filming a video and then uploads it to your Riverside account. So it's usually much higher quality than just, you know, recording a like a FaceTime call or a Zoom call. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. I will also have a affiliate link to that to create a free account uh, in the description. And if you wanna learn about even more tools that you can use to grow your YouTube channel, definitely check out our YouTube starter kit. That'll also be linked in the description and we have more tools and resources there that are gonna help you grow your YouTube channel faster. Hope to catch you over there.